Hello there most amazing top tenners, how are you doing today? I'm Rebecca Felgate and welcome back to most amazing top 10. In light of the mix up at the 89th academy awards during which the winner for best picture was wrongly announced, we thought that we would let you know that while it was devastating, these things happen. We've actually managed to find 10 examples of things going horribly wrong on live tv. So sit back as I present to you the top 10 biggest award show fails. In at number 10 we have drunk Elizabeth Taylor opens envelope early at the Golden Globes. At the 58th Golden Globes in 2001, veteran actress Elizabeth Taylor slurred her words as she got on stage to present the award for best drama. She drunkenly says, Here are the nominees for the best drama. Then she goes on to open the envelope containing the winner instead of reading the nominees on the auto cue as per procedure. The audience starts shouting at her to stop, and a producer awkwardly comes on stage to tell her how exactly to read that auto cue. When she sees him, she drunkenly says, Hello. He then subtly scolds her and she reads the nominees before struggling to open the envelope to announce the winner, Gladiator. She later stumbles as she thanks the audience and bizarrely says, You are all a lot while waving her arms. What a babe, what a legend. Coming in at number 9, we have Katy Perry mistakenly given Rihanna's award at the NRJ Music Awards. At France's 2009 NRJ Awards, Katy Perry accepted the award for best international single when it was actually supposed to go to Rihanna for disturbing. Disturbia. Disturbia! Still so good. The host had read out the wrong award card. Katie was actually supposed to win for best international album for One for the Boys. The gaff came after Katie had already been embarrassed for not understanding French when a DJ had asked her, riffing off the auto cue about her song I Kissed a Girl, if she would actually like a kiss, and Katie confusedly just simply said, Oui. Later, she looked very shocked when the lips came her way. From one pop star to another, at number eight, we have the time Madonna fell over at the Brit Awards. At the 2015 Brits, the 56 year old former queen of pop and renowned diva was performing an energetic performance of her new track Living for Love. The dance routine involved her shedding a cape, only it went very very wrong during the live show, and instead of her cape coming off as it was pulled back by a dancer, she actually took a tumble down the stairs with her cape still on, landing on her back much to the gasps of the audience who weren't sure if it was part of the dance or whether she had simply fallen over. She stopped singing only momentarily, and like the pro she is, she got back up to finish her song. The internet promptly went wild. If you watch the fall in slow motion, it is actually pretty crazy. Like, ow. Next up, the first of several Oscars mix ups. Coming in at number seven, we have the wrong Frank accepting an award. At the Sixth Academy Award, which took place in 1933, Will Rogers, the host presenting the Best Director Award, opened up the envelope and instead of announcing the full winner's name, he simply said, Come and get it, Frank, forgetting that there was actually two Franks nominated. Frank Capra jumped up to collect the award, which actually was meant for Frank Lloyd for Calvacade. Awkward. Next up, we have the infamous Adele Dazeem moment from the 2014 Oscars coming in at number 6. Oh dear. Veteran actor John Travolta made the actually kind of hilarious blunder as he misread the auto cue when he was introducing Adina Menzel, who was about to go on stage to sing Let It Go from Frozen. Instead of saying her name, he introduces the wickedly talented, the one and only Adele Dazeem. It's weird. He looks weird. It's crazy. It makes me laugh every time, I have to say. Adina is then revealed on stage wearing a beautiful show stopping dress and just kind of has to deal with that intro and get on with her song. Coming in at number 5, we have the time Ronnie Wood threw a drink in a DJ's face at the Brit Awards in 2000. As Rolling Stones rock legend Ronnie Wood took to the stage along with his drink, actress Thora Birch and host Davina McCall to present the award for best soundtrack, DJ Brandon Block invaded the stage. The DJ Pest pointed at himself as the winner instead of Notting Hill, which was just announced. How the DJ got on stage, we don't know, but Ronnie Wood was not happy about it. As security came on stage to get the DJ, Ronnie said, Get off stage, you. Well, actually, I can't say that word because it's pretty bad and it came out live on air. The DJ then squared up to the rock legend, swearing at him. Ronnie then threw a drink in his face and continued to swear at him. Finally, after the intruder was removed, Ronnie mourned the loss of his drink. Wow, imagine. Imagine watching that live, it must have been chaos. Coming in at number 4, we have Kanye's 2009 Video Music Awards Stage Rant. In 2009, 
2009, Queen Swift had yet to ascend to her throne. The then 19 year old had just won Best Female Video for You Belong With Me, fending off some stiff competition from Beyonce for single ladies. As the sweet 19 year old country singer accepted her award, Kanye stormed the stage and delivered his now notorious Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you, but I'm gonna let you finish. Beyonce has one of the best albums of all time speech. You know the one. Everyone was embarrassed, including Beyonce, and poor Taylor Swift stood there like a lost lamb, and she hasn't really forgiven him since. Moving on to number three, we have the infamous Oscars streaker of 1974. Goodness me. As British actor David Niven was introducing Elizabeth Taylor at the 46th Academy Awards, a streaker ran behind him, causing a very big stir, especially for the more conservative 1970s audience. Nivens uses his unwavering stick. British upper lip to soldier on, remarking, The only laugh that man will get in his entire life is by stripping off and showing his shortcomings. Ouch. As Elizabeth Taylor came on stage, she jokingly quipped, Whew, That's a tough act to follow. Coming in at number two, we have the most recent Oscars gaffe. Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty were presenting the award for Best Picture, but wrongly announced La La Land as the winners. Awkwardly, the whole La La Land troupe got up on stage, ready to accept the award including stars Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. As one of the producers was mid-speech, the team found out that actually the host had read the wrong card. The producer then finishes his speech by saying, yeah, well, we lost by the way. Moonlight, you actually won. Cue the confusion and the awkward gasps coming from the audience. The Oscar was then prized out of the La La team's hand and passed swiftly over to the Moonlight team, whose big moment was somewhat overshadowed. Coming in at number one, really there is only one moment that can be top of this list. This is the cringe to end all cringe, the biggest fail of them all. We of course have Steve Harvey announcing the wrong winner at the Miss Universe Awards pageant in 2015. This is actually devastating. Host of Miss Universe Steve Harvey read the results card wrong and announced the wrong winner. Instead of declaring intended winner Miss Philippines as Miss Universe, he announced first runner up Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia then celebrates for two minutes, raising her country's flag, putting on the Miss Universe sash and receiving the crown, smiling and waving regally. That was until Steve Harvey sheepishly walks back onto the stage and says that he needs to apologize. Miss Columbia still has no idea what's happening and thinks that it's all a big joke, until he's actually declaring that Miss Philippines is the winner and she starts walking forward and uh oh, wow, now somebody needs to take the crown off Miss Columbia who is starting to cry. All live on air. What a horrible thing to happen. I'm not sure I would ever be able to live that down if I was Steve Harvey. So that was the top 10 biggest award show fails. What do you guys think was the worst on this list? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you want to hear more from me, then you can check out my own personal channel, Rebecca Felgate Official. On this channel, I actually have a video about how I was in an Oscar award winning movie. So if you want to find out more about that, then I will leave a link to that video in the description box down below. Below. For now, thank you so much for tuning in to Most Amazing Top 10. Leave me your thoughts on the video in the comments below. Give us a good thumbs up. Share this video with, I mean, literally everyone you know. And of course, stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for more lists just like this one coming at you twice daily.